talked earlier about this small team of 10. We don't feel like a small team of 10 because we've got a massive support team who all give so openly and freely of their time and their resources. And that's what Pennies is all about. Pennies is not about just a few. It's not about selecting some charities or individuals or retailers. What we and the team have gone about doing is try and create a movement that inspires everybody to join in because it's that togetherness that makes it significant and importantly, makes it sustainable. Two years ago, we had our first transaction. One year ago, we celebrated a million. Today, we're celebrating three and a half million consumer donations from just a handful of retailers. That's more than 100% growth year on year. And towards the end of this year, we reckon we'll have hit about the million pound barrier, all from micro donations. Quite frankly, it's just absolutely amazing. And with some of the announcements we're making today, we can't wait to get into 2013 when we believe there'll be even more millions of donations helping these many charities that desperately need that help. But I'd like to take the opportunity to say a few thank yous. Firstly, thank you to all of you. It's not exactly great weather out there. We've had floods all over the country. So thank you so much for making the time and energy to be with us this morning. We really do appreciate it. And for those of you that are not yet involved, I really hope some of what our guest speakers have said have inspired you to act as well as to think. Thank you to my team. They do an amazing job. Honestly, we've been working through the clock for the last few days. And I'm trying to see where they all are, and particularly Liz Pearsley, wherever she is. You talk about a dynamo, you need to meet Liz. Absolutely amazing, and thank you for everything from the whole team. Thank you to Barclay Card, whose donation has made today possible. And thank you very much indeed to our amazing speakers. I felt incredibly humbled that such leaders of industry in retailing, Ian and Gary, the Minister for Civil Society, Peter Ailett, who is such a wisdom in card payments, and Martin Lewis on behalf of the whole charitable sector. For me to hear others talking the Penny's story says we're just nearly where we need to be to try and really nudge Penny's into its next chapter. Thank you also very much to Fiona Phillips. Um, you talk about being busy. This lady's incredibly busy and still has the time to be charming and engaging and from being involved right at the very beginning with Julian through to telling the story of where we've got to, but more importantly, we were about to get to, for me, is just incredible. So Fiona, thank you. To Robson Green and the Wilder team, um, if anyone wants to know what it's like recording a film in the wet, windy Kingston on a Thursday and turning it round to deliver this morning, boy, amazing. And Robson was just outstanding and took time out of his agenda to be so generous in their help as of Wilder. So thank you for pulling it off. Absolutely amazing. I guess there's so many people in pennies I could thank, but then none of you'd get out for you by 10 o'clock and I would be in trouble from Liz, which is not that pleasant. Um, and so I just want to thank a couple of other people in the room. And that's Barry and Margaret Mizzen. I don't know if any of you had the opportunity to meet the Mizzen yet. They have kindly given their time to be here today. Tragically, their, one of their sons, Jimmy, was murdered in their community. Most people would decide, I'm going to get revenge, I'm going to find a way through it. But not Barry and Margaret. Quite frankly, it's just not their way. They've created the Jimmy Mizzen Foundation, which is a, a, a foundation of hope to try and encourage young people in their community to make it a better and safer place to live. When I met Barry and Margaret, not only was I incredibly touched, they really wanted to come today to share their personal story so openly and so humbly. What they said to me was, pennies is just the vehicle we need. Because whatever the issues are in your community, if the local businesses can enable local people to raise funds and help address the local issues, we've got to inspire more people to get behind this movement. Barry, Margaret, your whole family, a massive inspiration. Thank you. Yes, P and 
item. So really great, so early in our development to see an industry recognise pennies in the not-for-profit award. So that's amazing. But today is about announcements of new people. You know, our existing retailers have been pioneers and have made a huge difference. Some fantastic names. And what's really inspiring is not only are they starting to move out into new channels, like we heard of Domino's and Mobile, others are moving too. Travelodge have agreed as soon as their technology is available, and the good news is it will be early next year, they are moving online into their bars and restaurants. And most of the other retailers up there, as soon as technology is available, they are moving channels too. 